You won't want to miss next month's solar eclipse because there won't be one like it for another two decades. The stunning phenomenon marks the first full eclipse in the U.S. since 2017. The total solar eclipse on April 8th will have a larger diameter than the last as the moon will be a couple thousand miles closer to Earth, according to NASA. The astronomical event will be partially visible in all 48 contiguous states and will be the last total solar eclipse to occur until August 23, 2044, according to NASA. Some parts of the country will even be able to experience full totality as the eclipse enters through Texas and eventually exits in Maine. The star of the show, so to speak, during the total solar eclipse is clearing the corona of the sun, visible only because the moon has moved in between us and 100% of the sun's light for areas inside the path of totality. But the darkness does give you a chance to see some planets, stars, and even possibly a once in 71 years comet. As we approach 100% totality, the first planet you may see is Venus. It will be bright and about 15 degrees from the sun. It will be the brightest planet visible and may be visible a little before, during, and a little after totality. The next and most likely planet you will be able to see is Jupiter. It will not be visible until the 100% period of totality. It will be more faint than Venus, but should be visible to the naked eye. Jupiter will be about 30 degrees from the eclipsed sun. Here's a wild card. A once in every 71 year comet will be blazing by at the time. The 12P Ponce Brooks comet may peak out during totality. It is not guaranteed to be visible, but there is a small chance that it could flare up during that time and put on a show. This comet is a ball of dirt and ice, and somewhat routinely, chunks break off and cause bright flares of light. So often the comet is nicknamed the Devil Comet, or the Millennium Falcon, because of dual flares that give the comet the appearance of horns. If you get to see the comet, it will be about 25 degrees from the sun. The exploding Devil Comet may show its hornless, greenish-tinged head on April 8th during the total solar eclipse. Photographs of the unusual cosmic event may feature the city-sized comet, which is presently speeding toward Earth. Furthermore, according to one researcher, the comet might be visible to the naked eye if it breaks out before totality, which is the part of the eclipse when the sun is totally obscured. The comet commonly referred to as the Devil Comet, 12P Ponsbrooks, 12P, has a width of 10.5 miles, 17 kilometers, and orbits the sun in a highly elliptical pattern approximately every 71 years. Comet 12P is an ice volcano, or cryovolcanic comet. This indicates that it periodically erupts when solar radiation causes a fissure in its icy shell, or nucleus, enabling it to blast cryomagma, a mixture of gas and ice, out of its icy interior and into space. The comet's coma, or the cloud of gas and dust surrounding its core, increases as a result of the cryomagma, giving the comet a noticeably brighter appearance for the next several days. For the first time in 69 years, 12P blew its top in July of last year, and it has erupted quite regularly ever since. Asymmetry developed in the comet's extended coma during 12P's early eruptions. Because of this, it appeared to have horns, earning it the moniker Demonic. These horns have not been present during more recent eruptions, though. High concentrations of dicarbon in the comet's coma and tail are the reason behind its green light, which is visible in recent images of the object. When seeing a partial eclipse, you should always wear protective eyewear, such as licensed eclipse glasses, it is safest to look directly at the sun at totality when the moon fully blocks out the sun. If you don't, you risk irreversible eye damage.
Thank you for watching the Cosmos News YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Your support means the world to us. And remember, keep looking up at the stars. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Thank you again.